your car in gear when the light turns green. Hey, 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 dick nose. <laughs> Didn't you know that light was gonna turn green eventually? Here's what you do, okay? You leave your car in gear, you leave your foot on the clutch. When the light turns green, you let your foot off the clutch, you proceed ahead. I don't wanna sit behind you for 20 minutes, listen to you go, grind, grind, ding, ding, ding. I got shit to do, okay? And these are the same people, they go to the market, they tell them how much your groceries are, they go, oh, uh, I guess I better fill my check in now. Asshole! <laughs> Put the name of the store on the check at home. Sign the check. Put the date on the check. Ooh, just a month in the year. Don't put it on the day. You might get stuck overnight at a green light on the way in. Oh, oh, and you've got coupons, too. Oh, good, good. Because I want to live in this fucking store. Come on. Coupons. Isn't that what money is? Isn't what dollar bills are? Isn't that what cash is? Coupons all of us can use? Safeway. You want to impress us? Put a $10 bill in our fucking newspaper, okay? Not, not some two cent off, some low sodium, low cholesterol fruitcake mix no one's ever going to buy in their lifetime, you know? And these guys who are using these two cent off coupons have nothing but time on their hands. I said to a guy once, I said, come on, pal, it's two cents. You want to move the line a little? Well, it's a double coupon. Whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Sorry, hey, but I got an idea. How about you get a job? You won't have to save four fucking cents. Oh, man. What? It's frightening. What? I, I, could I spend more of my life standing in market? What is this high-tech time-saving device now? Boop, 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 boop. Hey, zip face. I don't think it's working. Boop, 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 boop. But try it a couple thousand more times. No, no, could I grow old right in front of this cash register? Seriously, could my hair go white? Could my teeth become all yellow stumps? Could my shoulders actually roll over and stoop while you ring up a bottle of fucking Pepsi? <laughs> yeah, ring it up manually. That'd be good if you could ring it up manually because my car is depreciating in the lot. <laughs> Ring it up, ring it up manually. That'd be great if you could ring it up manually, okay? Five, five, seven, five, 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 four, four, five, five, six, five, five. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that 2,000 digit number you're putting in there? The code number? Hey, am I out of my mind or is the soda dollar fifty nine? Would it just be a lot easier to go one five nine? Oh, oh. oh man. Oh, oh. There is something seriously wrong with market lineups. It takes me longer to stand in line to pay for a loaf of bread than it took my grandparents to clear the land, plant the wheat, <laughs> harvest the wheat, grind it, and bake the bread. It's unbelievable. You know, and little old ladies over like 70 should not be allowed to use more than a buck's worth of change at the market. <laughs> this should be a federal law. You see these women, they're dragging in potato sack sized change purses there, aren't they? They got some old mutt dog with an arthritic hip, his leash is hooked up, he's trying to pull his weight in there, you know? And when, she, when you see this woman come in the store, everybody in this store has to decide in the twinkling of an eye what they absolutely can get by with. You gotta get to the checkout before this woman. It's like, uh, uh, cheese whiz and toilet paper, that's all I need, cheese whiz and toilet paper. You can't get in line. Oh. Have you ever been in line behind one of these women? You're looking out the store window, seasons are changing out there, you know? Birds are building nests, their young are flying away. You're standing there, your clothes are going out of style and back into style again, you know? <laughs> Did you ever notice the longer you stand there, the more the people in the lineup in front of you start looking like the people in the tabloids? <laughs> Two-headed dark boy. Oh, but these w old ladies, you know, they're paying $30 food bills with nickels and pennies. And the little old minds always lose it at about 11, 12 bucks, don't they? Geez, tell me if this looks familiar. $11.42. Oh, that's a button. I will I'll start over. Lady, come here. Lady. Lady, you know what my dream is, ma'am? My dream is to get out of this store before the expiration date on all the stuff in my cart comes due, okay? Look at my cart there, honey. You see that? You see that wine in there? That was grapes when I put it in there, dear. You want to pick it up a little? 
<laughs> this is why 7-Eleven stores like that can stay in business, because they're incredibly high priced, but you can get in and you can get out. Here's 2,000 bucks for the milk, here's another 150 for the gum. <laughs> Look, I have no money, I can't pay the rent, but blue sky, blue sky. <laughs> Something else that bothers me, the National Rifle Association is pissing me off. I gotta be honest with you. And I'm a member, been a member for a long time, you know? They started to piss me off when they were against the Brady Bill. Now the Brady Bill, is a bill that says you gotta wait seven days before you can get a handgun. I think this has to be the most logical law we have ever tried to pass in this country, because if you are the kind of guy who could not wait seven days for a handgun, you are exactly the guy who should wait seven days for a handgun. Come on. Come on. I mean, what's the problem? Our guy's coming in going, I need it now, I need it now. Seven days? What are you, crazy? You think that convenience store is going to be open all night? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Canada's funny. In Canada, you can't buy handguns there, and they say that that's why the murder rate is so low. But, you know, in the last two years, they've had, like, five murders or something, but so far this year, they've had over 300,000 hunting accidents. You know. Well, Your Honor, he looked like a moose. All right, go ahead. Go, go. You can't buy a handgun in Canada, but you can buy a shotgun over the counter, you know. They just hand it to you. Oh, yeah. Give me a shotgun, some shells, uh, a hacksaw, and a couple of ski masks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going on this uh, cross-country skiing slash duck hunting trip with this midget guy. Okay, fine. The guards in the banks in Canada, I don't know if you've been up there, the guards don't wear guns. What are they going to do if there's a robbery? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Is that your money? I don't think so. <laughs> put that back in the drawer. Put it back in the... Put it back... Do I have to take my belt off? <laughs> put the money back in the drawer. <laughs> ah. And I, And the NRA doesn't get it, or they refuse to get it. See, we, probably everybody here should be allowed to have a handgun, and we don't want to take guns away from a guy who shoots a deer to feed his family for the winter, but we kind of like some guy who's been in an institution for the criminally insane for 15 years not to be able to get out, walk across the street, and buy a fucking handgun. You got any ID? Yeah, I got this mental ward ID bracelet. <laughs> oh, well, your check is good here, pal. And they say, I was thinking about it. You know, they send out literature and bumper stickers and stuff that says, uh, guns don't kill people, people kill people, which is not true. Guns don't kill people, people don't kill people, bullets kill people. <laughs> See? So you just control bullets. They couldn't even form the National Bullet Association. The letters are already taken. Come on. Come on, I don't have to get an overhead projector and explain these to you, do I? Come on. Yeah, just control bullets. You could get, like, guns in, a, in vending machines, but you couldn't get a bullet to save your life. Thieves would have to walk into a bank holding an empty gun by the barrel. All right. This is a 357 Magnum, one of the heaviest guns known to mankind. <laughs> Don't make me have to throw this at you. <laughs> at this range, it'll raise a welt on your head, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Anti-abortionists are pissing me off, too. Anti-abortionists are pissing me off, yeah. 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 I don't care what you think or what you believe, but, you know, do what you want with you and yours and leave me and mine alone. You know, really. Really. Because... And, and you know, I, I really hate their sanctimonious, holier-than-thou attitude. You know, oh, oh, you know, we can do anything because we're looking after the rights of the unborn. We're looking after the rights of the unborn. It's only us who look after the rights of the unborn. Well, it's easy to look after the rights of the unborn. They just live inside another woman. Why don't you take some of your money, your time, your effort, and your energy and go down to a shitty area of town and look after some of the fucking born for a while? How about that? Okay? How about it? They walk around with pictures of aborted fetuses for shock value. <laughs> well, what do you think? We thought they came out with a little booty and cap set there? Come on. Everything inside us looks like shit, okay? Oh, look, a pancreas. <laughs> you know, I think maybe pro-choicers should walk around with a picture of a 15-year-old kid with a bandana and a shotgun. <laughs> this, is what, this is what it looks like when your mom has to blow guys to feed you macaroni every day for 15 fucking years. Right here, okay? Oh, yeah. And now... Yeah, and 
And now, and this is scary, now they're lobbying to have the law say that life begins at conception. Now this scares the shit out of me, because I don't want to be jerking off one day and have the cops kick down the door. <laughs> Sir, step away from the kid. The kid? Sir, just back away from the tissue. Oh, man. You know, then Jerry Falwell will have some holy the thou computer that'll find some woman you knew who was ovulating when you were masturbating. They'll charge you both with conspiracy to commit abortion. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we're going to... Oh, man. I see shit now I just don't get. I don't get country and western music. I really don't, because, uh... You know, I grew up on a farm, man, and I just don't get it. I can't see spending 18 hours a day out there planting seeds that you can't afford, not knowing whether they will grow or not, using fuel that you cannot afford, and then going back and listening to some other guy sing about his fucking problems. I don't get it. <laughs> you know, and Katie Lang, you know Katie Lang? Yeah. She says now, uh, don't eat beef. That's her big thing, right? Does she know that she's singing cowboy music? Does she know that cowboys sell cows to people who eat them and get the money to buy her fucking records? Does she know that? <laughs> but look, I'm not going to get down on her, but I'll make her a deal, okay? I'll stop eating beef if she'll stop eating pussy. That's a fair deal, isn't it? I just hate chicks who get more pussy than I do. I don't know. There's just something, there's something inherently wrong with that. I don't care. I don't get it. Stupid stuff I just don't understand. I, I, you all see these signs. I see a sign on restaurants. It says, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Should pants be somewhere on that list, do you think? <laughs> Apparently now, yeah. Apparently now, if I'm wearing a tank top and a pair of Reeboks, I can get a cheeseburger to go. <laughs> Shirt, shoes, <laughs> hey! Hoo-hoo! Uh, no. Oh, man. Stupid. A doctor. I had an operation a while ago, just a little operation, but I'm in recovery, and the doctor who operated on me comes in, and he grabs me right where he just cut me. And I go, ah, ah, ah. He goes, does that hurt? <laughs> no, Doc, I'm calling Moose in from the fucking tundra. <laughs> yes, it hurts, you stupid bastard. Don't they teach you at medical school, you cut somebody, you grab it 20 minutes later, it's gonna hurt? What, do you expect me to go, oh, oh, no, Doc. <laughs> doc, do you think you get that bedpan and whack it a couple times? Because squeezing it feels kind of nice. <laughs> Stuff I don't, I don't get stop buttons on elevators. Now, why is there a stop button in an elevator? What does an elevator take us, 10, 12 feet at a time? What does some guy get on the elevator, some guy goes, I can only go six, eight feet. <laughs> then I gotta stop the elevator. I'll hyperventilate into this bag. When I'm not queasy anymore, we can go the other six feet. No, there's only one reason to stop an elevator between floors. We all know what that is. That's so you can stop and fuck on the elevator. That's it. That's it. So, what I don't understand is why do they put a bell connected to the end of the button there? What, is some guy gonna pry open the door with a washcloth and a cigarette? Here, ma'am. Here, sir. Thanks for shopping Bloomingdale's. <laughs> Come on. I don't get a lot of stuff. I don't know how the Japanese keep making stuff smaller and smaller and smaller. I have this theory, okay? I think they've discovered a sonic reduction beam, okay? Because I look at a Honda Civic. I swear on the outside, I am bigger than a Honda Civic. <laughs> Yet me and three guys my size can sit comfortably inside one. I think we go through, we get hit with the beam at the door, we shrink down to Japanese size there. <laughs> hey, you guys, this is roomy, isn't it? Isn't this roomy? I, I mean, think about it. How can they make a cassette player that is smaller than the fucking cassette it plays? <laughs> Put it in slowly next time. I think you'll see. Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> I don't know, there's something incredibly out of whack with, I'm not talking about Japanese Americans, I'm talking about Japan, the culture, Japan, the country, the Japanese in Japan. There's something wrong. These people make the best stereo equipment on the planet. Have you ever heard their music? <laughs> Seriously. Oh yeah. yeah. 
it, it's like it's like two silverware trucks colliding on the freeway, you know? Boing, ding, bong, ding, ding, bong, ding, ding, bong. Ding, bong, ding, dong, bing, ding. How do you hum this shit? Give me a break here, will you? Yeah. Can I?